All right. In this video, I'm going to show you one of the coolest features of using Word Online or other web-based products or web-based applications that are within Office 365. Now, a web-based application is anything like Word Online or PowerPoint Online. It's a program that you're using, but you're actually staying on the Internet while you use it. Your Internet browser is still open. You're still, like Google Chrome, still open. You're not opening other programs in your computer, but it looks like Microsoft Word is just running inside your web browser. So to start, we're going to go to Word Online. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to go through Hello ID. And when we're in Hello ID, we're going to click Office 365. And when you go there, it may load your Outlook first. But what we're going to do is go to OneDrive. And we're in your OneDrive. We're going to, in the same way, you probably want to have files and folders in your computer organized. You probably want to organize the files and folders in your OneDrive. And so within your OneDrive, you may want to have a new folder called Computers. Um, OneDrive is way easier to search than searching your computer. So as long as you give things good names, you can probably find them. But if you do make good files and folders and organize things carefully, that does make it way easier to find stuff because then you can search things, find things by searching or by organizing. But I digress. Let's get back to it. So in this case, I'm going to real quick just make a new Word document. When I make this new Word document, I'm going to give it a name, give it a good name. We're going to call it Practice Collaborating because that's what we're doing. We're practicing collaborating. Now, I'm going to share this. There's a variety of ways to share something with another person from Word Online. Um, you could send a link. You could type the name of someone. If you type someone's name here, it works just fine, except that it just gives them an email. It sends them an email. So if they know the email is coming, that's great. If they want to go check their email, that's cool. What we're going to do is copy a link. So I want you to hit copy link. Now, when you hit copy link, it makes this link that you can copy. Anyone who gets that link can now come back to this document and work on it with you. You can even work at the exact same time. However, if you look down here, it says only people in the Snohomish School District can link can view. Well, that means view, they can just see it. They can't actually work on it with you. So if I go back up to share and then hit this drop down right here, now I can change my settings of how people can access this. If I click anyone, that means literally anyone in the entire world. But you'll notice you can't allow them to edit because our district has some uh, things locked down on that, which means that you can't like hit anyone, post a link to it, and then some creep can be like editing your document from like their mom's basement. So what you could do, though, is hit people in Snohomish School District. And then if you wanted the people to be able to collaborate, hit allow editing. This will allow them to edit the document also. Now you want to be careful with that. You only want to send links of documents that allow editing to people who you trust. Because that person could ruin your whole project if it was a project you're working on. Hit apply. Now, hit copy link, and then hit copy. So what we're going to do is go back to Canvas and hit Submit Assignment. For the website URL, hold Control and tap V, and that pastes the link of the document in there. And then you can submit the assignment. Now, when you're done submitting the assignment, you can be done. But if you'd like to see how this works, if you want to see how two people can actually work on the document at the same time, Come up and talk to me. Just get up out of your seat right now. Come over and talk to me as soon as you submit the assignment. And I'll look at it. I'll log into it. And I'll tell you to open this up too. So try not to close it before you come, sit, come see me because it would take a while for you to open it up again. And I'll show you how you and I can both be sitting there typing in the same document at the same time, working on it together. It's pretty cool. It's not a mandatory part of the assignment. All you need to do is send me a link to finish the assignment. But if you want to see how it works, I'll show you. 